All right, we're at Lake Monticello. Cumberland. Going to try to show you how to catch a couple white perch. We got uh, what we got here is a spoon, gulp shrimp above that, and above that we got another gulp shrimp. What I'm going to do is drop it down about 45 to 60 foot of water on the bottom, and we're gonna to try to catch some white perch. Uh, it's a sunshiny day, temperature about 37. Uh, hopefully we can catch some nice white perch. Slow trolling, spoon and the jigs right off the bottom. Right now we're in about 50 foot of water. I'm gonna drop it down, see what we can do. Bolton Building, the best in the construction business since 1903. If you're ready for a new farm storage facility, insulated workshop, coffee garage, or sports bar, or custom home, let it get to the bottom. You'll be proud to call your own. Contact us today during building value. It takes a little while. slight breeze all right get to the bottom now we, what we're going to do is we're going to slow troll this with the foam on the bottom right off the bottom let's see what we can do Another bite, miss him. Oh, try it again. Another bite, missed him. You must not be feeding real good yet. Getting short. About a pound and a quarter. I'll be back now. We can catch another nice one like that. That was a pretty perch. They get a little bit bigger and get a lot smaller. Yeah. Hopefully we get some nice ones. I'm 46 foot now. Gotta move around. Alright, tighten the line up. Control across this bottom again, see if we can get another. Sometimes I just ease it up easy. But uh, most of the time, I just slow troll. Yeah. Oh, missed it. Oh, another one. Oh, he hit it hard, too. Yeah. 
it. If we get we shake it sometimes, we get more than one. Sometimes. Not all the time. Uh, one this time. He's a small one. Well, he's a medium size. I guess we can pull him. He's not real big. Right? Throw him in the bucket. All right, back down. I don't know if you can see these loons around the boat, but they wait for me to throw them a fish. They wait for me every day I come out here to feed them. Uh, if you don't watch it, they'll take the fish right off your hook. Sometimes you hook the bird, and then you got a problem. So let's hope for you. Oh, that's what does that quick. Yeah, them birds are already diving down to get my fish before I get him up, but I'm gonna try to out beat him. Out pull him. Got another nice perch. Can't beat that. That's a fine one right there. About a pound better. Throw him in the bucket. Somebody else is a good fillet. See if we can catch another one. Pull the boat around. Try to get it to the bottom. Basically, all I'm doing is taking this trolling motor and, and making circles. Dragging that spoon and, and two jigs right off the bottom. That's all I'm doing. That's it. Here we go. Tight. Right. So we got to the bottom one here. All right, we're gonna pull it along. I don't know if you can see the end of the rod or not, but all I'm doing is leaving that spoon close to the bottom and trolling that jig. But it hit the bone. Sometimes it hits short. You don't trim for two and a half inches long. Sometimes the fish ain't quite big enough to get them in the bone. Talking about right there. Pretty perch. You gotta love this. Nobody else out here but me. Like my private lake. Now again, you can probably see the land in the background. We're making circles. I'm letting them back down. And I'll have about a 45 or a little bit less angle. That's a baby. That's a bird feeder. That is a real baby. Now you watch this bird. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. But you watch it. Do it right there. They done got it that quick. Poor thing ain't got a chance with them birds around. I hate that because you can't throw them back. The birds eat them. Bad thing, but I guess they got to eat too. 47 foot of water right here. The underwater point runs out here. You got 70, 80 foot right out on both sides of me. And uh, that, them perch come running up that deep uh, uh, deep valleys and, and, and come out on these points. Feed. And that's what we're doing. We're catching them feeding. Deep. Deep trolling. Here we go. All right. Boom. Missed. 
They bite it bite as soon as I get down there, but a lot of them small. I'm gonna try to catch a, a nice one here. Hopefully we catch a large amount. Hopefully. Hey, yeah, another small one. We don't want him. I'm gonna shake it a little bit, see if I can catch two. See if we can get two on that. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. Uh oh, sometimes when you shake it, you lose the one you had. So, it's a price you pay to try to catch more than one. <coughs> All right, here we go. It's a little trouble again. That's a good one. I think I can get him up with the birds to get him. He's fair. He's not a hundred pound, but he's fair. He's probably three quarter pound. Right. Sometimes these little jigs, you got three up, two jigs and a spoon. Sometimes they get tangled up around stuff. You got the Got to work with it. A little bit aggravating. But hey, the price you pay to have fun. And this loon wants to take my jig right here, and let's hope he don't. Because he will eat it. And break my line. Then it's an hour time more stuff back on. I'm kind of slow and old. Alright, here we go. Dropping it back down. They got up here 44 foot of water now. Let's see if it's any up here a little higher. Alright, we're on the bottom. Tighten the line. Pull the jig. And by that quick, I got a pump that I didn't hear. Oh, I missed him again. Alright, here we go. Hold it along. Slow troll, boom. Again. Slow troll. Losing what I got. I kind of want to catch two or three at a time, though, to show you how it can be done. All right, there's one. There's two. Let's see if we can get these in. Might not be two. It feels like it could be. It might be one big one. and hook itself. Then I'll stop it for a while. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna hit it. So there's a few of them down there. All right, there you go. Oh, hit them again. Oh, gone it. All right, here we go. Slow troll. Boom. That quick. That quick. Let's see if we can get him in here. Uh oh. 
coward man. Okay. Large mouth, he's not a real big one. Put a nice one. He ain't gonna throw him back. Well, I might throw him back. Like he's blind in one eye. Look at that. Like one of his eyes is blind. He probably don't weigh two pounds, so. Hopper back down. Fishing Lake Monticello. Kind of chilly, but it's sunshiny. Makes it a pretty day. A little breezy, 10 mile an hour maybe. All right, put it back down on the bottom slow troll and see what happens. Button bumped it already. All right, let's see what we can do. Here we go, trolling along. Got it in position. See how long it takes to get a bite. That's a pretty white perch. ones might be a little bit shallower. Water temperature is about 55. Alright, here we go. No trouble. Oh Lord. I believe we might have a large mouth. I believe we might have another large mouth. Oh, I know I got another large mouth. Oh, I might be wrong. Got to kind of jag it. Uh, it's a catfish. Feels like a catfish pool. Yeah, old, kid, old kitty cat. Come on in here, kitty cat. Yeah, that's what it is, old kitty cat. Yeah. That kitty cat. Channel. Channel cat. Let's hit that shrimp. Catch everything on that shrimp. Bass, catfish, perch. Go to the ocean, catch trout, spot tail bass, flounder. This shrimp is a killer. Two and a half inch gulp shrimp. It is uh, something I stumbled on. Went to the beach, bought some. Uh, come back home in fresh water, decided I was going to rig up something, try to make these perch bite it, and I hit a bonanza. I've tried a lot of jigs. You can catch them on other stuff. 
Seems like this gulp shrimp catches bigger, bigger perch. And it definitely catches more bass than a regular old crappy jig. Uh, I don't know if, you know, it's built like a shrimp. I guess they think it's a shad. So it's a wonderful fresh water, salt water combination. Oh, I mean, uh, jig. I have the spoon under it, two jigs above it. The spoon basically just gets it down where I need to be. It's a three quarter ounce. And there he is, another big one. This time, I got a nice fish. This time, we got a real fish, unless I got him snagged. I believe we got a big old largemouth bass. What I think we got, uh, it could be another catfish. Hard to tell, but he's a good one, whatever he is, I can tell you that. He's a good one. He is a good one. Oh, my goodness, he got a pull. See if it's a bass, it's a good one. Yep, if it's a bass, it's a good one. I better get it ready. Yes, sir. If it's a bass, it is a good one. Well, it's a bass and a perch. Right there. A bass and a perch. Perch ain't big. I'm talking about a monocellar stubby fish. I thought he weighed bigger than what he was, but, but uh, he's a good one. Caught him on the spoon. So see there, sometimes that spoon pays off. <sighs> nice large mouth. Probably weigh, they might weigh four. All right, how about that? Catfish, large mouth. I'm going to throw this perch back, but them birds are going to get him. He ain't going to make it. Them suckers is hungry. Stay home. Alright. Ain't nothing but fun. F U N. Fun. Steve Cumliner. 65 years old. Retired. Enjoying my retirement. Doing what I love to do is definitely my passion. All right, we're going to get it to the bottom. We done got a little deeper. We're at 48 now, so I need to, I think I'm bass some more up on the shallow. Probably in the 40, 40, 50, 45 range. But uh, these perches out here, so there's a nothing. There's a nothing. He's not that big, but he's probably a keeper. He's probably a keeper. Yeah, I think he's a keeper. I think he's a keeper. That is one pretty perch right there, people. Pound and a quarter. Pound and a quarter perch. All right, we're going to let her back down. Kind of wear you out. Fast as they biting. You get old, you get slow. But them bites will make you go. All right, here we go. Slow pull. Cross the bottom. Lake Monticello. Cold weather. February. 2016. Time's flying. But we're having fun. Right. Boom, that quick. Boy, I tell you what, if, if this ain't something, I got nobody to share this with but this camera. This is something. Uh, he ain't no monster, but he's a filet. And filet go in the box. Drop it down. You hit the bottom. Hit the bottom. Got a little light music in the background. Oh, this is wonderful. 
This is not a 17 foot giant boat with a hand control trolling motor. Got no bunch of it. Money invested. Keep it simple. Gas don't cost as much simply. And it sure seems to work. I'm not running around the lake, I'm fishing. Guess what? I got a nut. I got a nut. I don't know how, but whoa. Pretty good one too, what I mean. Oh, no. Suckers want to fight. Another big old perch. Look at that. Another big old slab perch. Yes, sir. On a gup shrimp. Put Mr. Gup back out there. We got an orange one in and we got a natural color. Gup shrimp. On a, 30, on a 16, a 3 16th head and a quarter ounce head. I use a big head because it keeps them lines from getting rabbled around, tied around each other as bad as a light head. So it makes it more weight heavy and holds it down instead of flipping around too much. Just things that I've learned over the years. Alright, we're at the bottom. Here we go. Had a bite already, but I admit I didn't jerk because it sounded it felt like a small bite. Nope. Oh,